In this video, I'll show you how you can upload your existing contacts into Ordo so that you can start to create segments and target them with campaigns right away. You can import your contacts in two ways, either with a CSV file or by connecting to an existing data source. So go ahead and jump to the timestamp for the method that you prefer and we'll get started. When importing a spreadsheet, you'll need to start by first preparing your data and your file does not need to include every field defined in your CDP. If you're just importing people data, all you need is first name, last name, and email. And if you're also including organization, you'll just need to include the name of the org. If you have multiple people to associate with the same organization, simply add that org name next to all those people. And if you're including dates, just make sure that it's formatted the same as how you have set up in your general settings within Ordo. With that done, go ahead and export to CSV and hop on into Ordo. On the left-hand navigation pane within Ordo, select Data Sources and then click New Data Source to select Spreadsheet Import. You can drag and drop your CSV file in or browse your computer. And then Ordo will automatically attempt to match the fields from your spreadsheet, but if any are incorrect or missing, simply drag in the correct CDP field from your Ordo, Ordo account. And if an appropriate field doesn't exist in your CDP already, you can create a new field from this window as well. Next, you can add any relevant tags, and tags are useful to later on segment your audience or automate campaign actions, as well as for reporting. Next, you'll have an option to select how you want to merge any duplicates. So you can pick whatever field you want to identify and remove duplicates, but by default, Ordo will use emails for people and organization name for orgs. Click done and the import will start. Ordo has integrations with common CRMs like Pipedrive, HubSpot, and Salesforce, and the steps to connect them and import your existing contacts are pretty similar, just some small nuanced differences. So let's step through it using Salesforce as an example. By default, the integration allows Salesforce to update the data values in Ordo based on equivalent values in Salesforce. For example, their phone number if what you have in Salesforce is different from what's already in Ordo. If you want to make any changes to this, click the advanced options to select which fields are allowed to be modified or not. Continue by connecting your Salesforce account. You might be asked to sign in at this time. Then you'll be able to select which objects and their associated fields from Salesforce you want to map into Ordo. Ordo will make some default selections, but you can adjust these and as you're selecting which fields to sync, just keep in mind you can sync a maximum of 100 people fields and 50 organization fields. There are a couple additional choices that you'll make as you're connecting your data sources. So first, you can set the email and SMS permissions for the contacts that you sync into Ordo based on fields from Salesforce. You can also decide how long you want to retain or store your data in Ordo. We would recommend you store for all time, but of course, if you want to adjust this even down to specific activity level permissions, you can do. Next up, you'll decide which records you actually want to import into Ordo. We usually see people select all, but in this case, I was playing around with selecting only records created by one particular team member. So the last step is to decide what to do with any duplicates that exist, as well as what your merge key will be for identifying those duplicates. So if you select merge with any key match, data in Ordo will be updated if either your primary or your fallback identifier match. But if you select only, mer only if previous merge key is empty, data in Ordo will only update if your primary identifier matches. It won't check the fallback. Click Sync and your data will now import. As you think about ongoing data maintenance, it's good to know that the integration uses a refresh token. So if you want to keep syncing data between Salesforce and Ordo, you'll need to update your OAuth settings on the Salesforce side. Check out our help docs to learn how to do this. 
With the refresh, data will sync every five minutes or so. Also, it's good to know that the integration is read-only, so if you want Ordo to update data back into Salesforce, use journeys or playbooks to trigger actions that push data back into Salesforce. As mentioned, we have integrations with other commonly used CRMs like HubSpot and Pipedrive. Check out our help docs for the finer details for connecting all these integrations to Ordo, and get in touch with us at help at if you get stuck.